All right guys, so what I'm doing today is elongating my shower curtain for the master bathroom. I have my shower curtain laid down on the floor. I have this pill and stick instead of what I purchased in my haul because I will be using a fabric that does not need a lot of heat on it. And the heat and bond would definitely ruin this fabric. I used my Kohl's Cash and got this for free. I bought a gray silk sheet set and I'll be using the flat sheet to attach to my shower curtain. So all I need to do is add 34 inches so that it'll be long enough to reach. What I did was I went ahead and I'll bring this a little closer and I put the bonding tape across my shower curtain and I attached my shower curtain and fabric together with safety well, these little stick pins. So this is what it looks like. You just pretty much roll it across the fabric like such. And then you peel off the clear coating on top and press down the fabric that you want to fuse with the bottom fabric. So I'm almost at the end. I'll let you see what it looks like in just a second. And here's a close up look of the bonding tape. And we're just going to peel off the plastic and adhesive, it, fuse this, these two fabrics together. And I can just go ahead and attach my fabric just by pressing firmly as I release the tape. So it's really simple, really easy. I looked up this particular bonding tape online just so that I could see the reviews and they had pretty good reviews so I'm happy about anything that has good reviews. Apparently you can wash the fabric and the fuse is really good that it does not detach the hem when you put it in water. So since this is a shower curtain, of course, we want to make sure everything attaches. So after I done, I'm done with this, I'll resume the video so that you can see what I do next. All right, now that I have my two fabrics fused together, I'm just gonna start cutting off the excess fabric. And it's pretty easy to see where that is because you can fill it. All right, so I finished cutting the extra fabric off. And as you can see, this is the back of the shower curtain. You won't even see any of this with the shower lining up, but what I've got to do now is clean up this excess fabric here. So this one side of the shower curtain has got fabric extending out longer. So the good thing about this peel and stick is that there's plenty left over for me to put a line of the tape along the side of the shower curtain, fold it, and cut off the excess. Let me show you how I'm going to do that next. Okay, so I just pretty much put a lining of tape, as you can see, along where I want to put my hem for the part of the shower curtain that's a little longer than the rest. And I'm going to just pretty much fold it over after I take off the white strip that looks like this and press it to bond. So let's see if I can do this. We got it started. So I'm pretty much pulling my hem. Doing this all together. Wish me luck, guys. So 
far so good. And here's our finished product.